Hey guys! It's tea time. I almost said coffee time and then I tried to stop myself and then it just turned into nothing. It's tea. Today it's tea time. If you couldn't tell from the video yesterday, I had a lovely time at Disneyland. It's funny because, like, for me, after living here, I've realized a lot of people really love to go to Disneyland. Like, they are all about Disneyland. And I am personally, to be completely honest, I am not all about Disneyland. Like, for me, it's just, I enjoy going there with people who really love it. Because then you get to kind of experience that, that excitement through them. And for Angie, Angie loves Disney. She loves all things Disney. She loves Disneyland. She's just like a huge fan of that whole world, right? So for her, every birthday she goes to Disneyland and she loves it and she knows everything about Disneyland. Like, it's crazy. Um, the only other person that I can think of that I know who really knows a lot about Disneyland, like to that degree, is probably um, Chris from Criss Cross. I don't know if you guys remember Criss Cross Media, but uh, we used to like hang out a lot. He hasn't been in town in a really, really long time, but... Um, yeah, Chris is fantastic, and his whole family is super into Disneyland as well. So, like, I feel like I have these two friends who every time they're in town, they go to Disneyland, and if I go with them, I know that they are going to have it on lock, right? You show up, they know exactly where to go, they know exactly what to do, they know exactly where they're going. The second I was on my own, I was screwed. Like, when you saw the footage of me just on my own trying to get out of there, that was like, you know... 30 seconds out of an hour of me just walking in circles being like, where am I? And if you follow me on Twitter and saw the tweet of a bunch of texts um, to a friend named Michelle, then you probably know <laughs> that I went out the wrong exit. Did not know that there was such a thing as a wrong exit at Disney. I went out an exit that literally just like poops you onto the street. And I was like, this is not where I'm supposed to be. So confused, walking in circles, just like, where do I go? How do I get back to my car? I was so just not having it. And again, like my headlight was out. So I was like, I need to get home before it gets dark. Did not happen because it took me so long to get to my car. By the time I got to my car, it was already dark. So I was like, well, okay, I guess I hope that um, the people around me stick very close to my car and that it would be a pain in the butt to pull me over. <laughs> that is my hope right now. Uh, but yeah. Um, guys, I played a demo for a game. I finally got it working and it was so short. I worked so hard to be able to play this game. There's a girl who, um, she like translated a demo for an Otome game called Alice Alice and I loved the opening like these games have you know like opening themes like they're an anime and I loved the opening and I was like oh my gosh I really want to play this demo and she had translated the demo and made a patch and I was like oh my gosh so I worked so hard to get it working finally got it working I played it today it's like 15 minutes. It's like maybe the shortest Otome demo I've ever played in my life. And really just like demo in general. I don't, I can't think of another demo that is quite that short, but it was like nothing, man. There was n nothing to it. Made me real sad. Um, because like, especially with visual novels and like Otome games, it's so easy for them to accidentally make a demo that's like two hours and be like, we just wanted you to get a good idea of what the game's gonna be like, but you know, it's so slow moving that you're like, this is a very long demo, this is taking forever. And then I play this one thinking, well, you know, Otome demos are normally pretty long. <sighs> it's 15 minutes, like straight up, not even lying to you. <laughs> it's so short. And I feel, and like, I feel like I don't really know what the game is going to be like. Like, it was too short. And you might say, well, Dodger, it's going to be a dating sim. It's an Otome game. You have all of the characters established, pretty much. Like, I don't know what else you wanted. But I, I, wanted, I wanted to kind of get a better idea of where the game would have been going, you know? 
when I played the dandelion demo forever ago, like a long time ago, when I played the dandelion demo, that demo went on for a while. And I was like, man, this demo is going on for, for quite a long time. But it like, it kind of set up the way that the actual game plays. And I realize that now. It set up kind of the, the stages of the game, the way that you have to like set up who you're, who you're going for at the very beginning and like you get to experience, you know, this whole like, like them turning into a dude and then um, and then seeing like a cutscene with them as a dude, like experiencing the world, right? So that's basically what the Dandelion demo is. And it really, it gives you an idea of what the entire game is. And that's what the entire game has been so far for Cry and I, but it's, it didn't take away from the enjoyment level, right? So I was like, man, I really wish, I really appreciate the girl who patched that demo. Really, really appreciate that she did that, but I wish it was longer. <laughs> Allow me a second to be ungrateful and say, I wish it was a longer demo. I really, really wish that. That's not her fault. She just, she translated the demo. Like, that's the demo that they give you, <laughs> so it's... But I was like, dang it! I wish. I wish it had been longer. That's alright. It's okay. I'm re-uploading news for the second time today. I don't know what keeps happening with Premiere. Everybody keeps telling me that I need to get on the cloud, the Adobe cloud, because my Premiere has been just acting so weird. There are some times when it'll slow down everything on my computer to like a crawl. And I'm like, is that a problem with my computer? Or is that a problem with Premiere? It's literally only Premiere that does it. Um, and when it does do it, then it has that issue that I had a while back where when I, I like shut it all down, right? And when I open it back up, it doesn't, it has like corrupted whatever file I was working on before. And then I have to use an autosave from like, you know, a ways back and then keep working on it. So like my news video today, thank goodness it worked out fine. My news video for today, I had done the whole edit I was exporting. The export was taking a really long time and then my computer started like getting real slow, real, real slow, like nothing was opening and I was like, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, because I didn't, I was so terrified that when I opened it next, it was going to be like, oh yeah, the last autosave was like, you know, when you had just started editing news, like last time. I was so worried that that's what was going to happen. Fortunately, it did not. Fortunately, that was not the case. Um, I closed it all down, I opened up the autosave file, and it was like, it had autosaved when I was almost done. So all I had to do was redo the very end, and then re-export it, and now it's exported fine. So, yeah, I don't know if that's a computer problem, or if that's a Premiere problem, but either way, like, I kind of feel like I should be using Adobe Cloud anyway, because then... Then I, I get all of the updates. I have the most recent version of the programs that I do use. It seems like it would be worth it. For my job, it seems like it would be worth it, right? <laughs> like, I can shell out that money for my job. That makes sense. Man, my tea's getting cold already. I have to go warm that up. I have to go warm that up again. <sighs> that's pretty much it. Guys, that's it. That's <laughs> that's like all that's all that's going on up here right now. Although, as as a final update on my life, uh my zit, my my best friend right here, he is feeling very dry now, which is awesome. So like Disneyland day, he was very like red and angry and inflamed and just like, <laughs> right? Um, today he's felt, he's been very like dry and just kind of like, you know, sink sinking back into the nether, which I'm super okay with. So it's still red, it's still red, but it doesn't look like, I don't know. It doesn't look like something's trying to crawl out of my face. Like it has for the last couple of days. <laughs> the other morning, I can't remember if it was yesterday morning or the morning before that. But like, the first thing that Sam said to me in the morning was, oh, and just like, poked my face. I was like, no. 
<laughs> it's just like, it had like two days there where it was so big and angry and just like, Rah! not my favorite thing in the world. So, but I'm glad, I'm glad that yesterday I just like didn't put anything on my face, just like let it breathe. And also the fact that we were outside so much, I feel like having the sun on it was good. It kind of like dried it up a little bit as well, along with the lavender oil, because lavender oil is a natural astringent. Also tomato juice. If you have tomatoes around, you can always put just like straight up raw tomato juice on your zits. Weird, right? I know. Astringents. <laughs> Things that are acidic. Um, yes. Lol. So anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go, but I hope you guys have had an amazing day, and I will talk to you again tomorrow. Okay? Bye. <laughs> I've been doing that a lot lately. I don't know.